here we have a motherboard that came in for repair the motherboard looks something like this and that's an arcade motherboard the customer has a few notes for us here let's take a look and see what's going on Customer wrote, motherboard is out of a II Arcade Gold Edition arcade machine. The company went out of business, and the account that MB has on it is irreplaceable. Been watching the channel for a long time and have purchased lots from your store. I believe you are my best chance at getting this thing fixed and appreciate all you do to bring these things back to life. Thanks again. Thank you very much, Slade. I really appreciate it, and hopefully I can fix this board. I have not worked on such a board before, but we're going to do our best. The customer also wrote, power supply goes into safe mode when plugged into motherboard. The customer mailed over the motherboard and he also mailed the charger. Let's start by testing the charger, make sure it's working. Meter in voltage mode and we're going to test the tip here and I'm reading 24.3 volts. So the charger is 24 volts. And what happens if we plug the charger on the board? Oh, whoa, it sparked. It sparked. Definitely a short. We are the kings of short circuit, right? It's an arcade motherboard, so the board want to play games. We can play games too, right? Meter in diode mode. And let's get to it. So that's where the charger plugs in. I just want to quickly test that we have a connection from the pin of the charger onto the board. And do we have a short circuit? This should be ground. And I'm reading nothing unless this is not ground. Yeah, probably. I mean, if we do this, we got a beep, but if we do this, we do not get a beep. So this is not the same as this. What if we put the probe here and we do this? That's ground, okay. And that's, I don't know what this is. Screw hole, that's it. We have a diode here. Let's measure in diode mode. We have 0 0.18 voltage drop. Flip the probes. We have OL, diode is good. We have few caps here, connected in parallel. If we measure like this, we have 0 0.275. And if we put one probe on ground, we have 0 0.5 voltage drop. So we do not have a short circuit anywhere in this area. Now, I do not want to drift too far that way. I want to focus on this area. No short here, no short here, no short here. We have few caps here also, so we're going to take it one step at a time. 0 0.5 voltage drop. Moving down. Maybe we can measure this MOSFET. And we have 1.3 voltage drop. If we measure gate, we do not have a short. If we measure gate to source, we do not have a short. And if we measure gate to drain, we do not have a short. Let's measure this diode. 0 0.3 voltage drop. Should be good. And we have some caps connected in parallel, right? We have a capacitor. Actually, this capacitor is not connected in parallel, but because we have an inductor here, it makes it connected in parallel, right? So let's measure here. Whoa, whoa, wha, we have zero ohm reading, zero voltage drop. If it's a zero voltage drop, it means zero ohm reading. Let's measure in ohms mode. Oh, oh yeah, <laughs> zero ohm reading. Let me go back to diode mode. I'm going to place one probe on ground, red probe, and zero voltage drop and zero voltage drop. Now, we're not going to be able to tell 
why we have zero voltage drop here. Is it this? 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 Maybe this? No, this one is separate. Yeah, this one is separate. 0 0.5 voltage drop. Do we have a short circuit on this diode? 0 0.3 or 0 0.27 voltage drop. We do not have a short. What if we measure the gate on this MOSFET? Oh well, measure gate to drain. We have 1.3, measure gate to drain. I mean, gate to source, gate to drain. I think I said gate to drain here, it's gate to source. So we do not have a bad MOSFET, we do not have a shorted diode, but we do have a short somewhere here. What about this cap? This cap is good, but we have a problem here. Either this, so far, either this, 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 or this, or this. Those two are connecting in parallel, but because of this filter or inductor, it also makes it connected in parallel with this one, and because of this, it's connecting with this one and this one. Great. I think we narrowed it down a bit. We do not have a short here. And do we have a short on the inductor, on the coil here? We do not, 0 0.5 voltage drop. Should we look further? I mean, the problem may not be where I'm measuring, but most likely it is. If you see clouds over you, it doesn't mean it's going to rain in China, right? Being in the US. So I think let's focus here. Let's focus in this area. Fume extractor on. What should we do? Should we remove the caps one by one? Should we use our thermal camera? Should we do a process of elimination? Maybe we can remove this inductor so we can separate those two from this guy. But we also have to remove this so we can separate those from this. I mean, if I remove this and I remove this, why not just remove this, 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 and this? Those are all caps. It has to be one of those five. One, two, three, four, five. One of them. This one is not measuring for a short, and this one is not measuring for a short. You know what? I'm not going to use the thermal camera. I'm not going to inject any voltage like we always do. We're just going to do a process of elimination. We're just going to remove them one by one. And we'll see. I do not want to lose that cap. Let's see if we got lucky on the first one. So meter in diode mode. And do we still have a short? But look at this. No way. No way. First cap I removed. Short is gone. No way. How lucky can one be? The first cap I removed, removed the short. I'm reading 0 0.6 voltage drop. I'm reading 0 0.6. If we measure this cap, you see, the cap is shorting to ground. We got it. Wow. Now, I do not know the value of the cap, but we're going to assume that this cap is the same value as this, or maybe the same value as this. I'll take this cap, I'll measure it, and then we'll have a similar one here. There's no way for me to know the value of this cap, but it's not going to be a big deal. That's a bypass capacitor. One end is connecting to ground, and it's used to filter. We have more filtering caps here, but we're not going to keep it out. We're just going to make take an educated guess, remove this guy, measure it, and we're going to put a similar value. Let's remove this. Hold on. Big Boss is leaving, and I'm going to lock the door. I do not want customers to come in. Big Boss just left, and I locked the door. 
I do not want customers to come in because just when I'm making a video, end of the day, somebody will come in and waste my time. I'm not talking about a five minute waste of time, but some customers, it never ends. They will tell me every story they have since they were born, a lot of them. I do not mind listening to customers. I do not mind talking to customers as long as I do not have work to do. Let's remove this guy. So we're gonna put it down here. And we're gonna measure it. Now we're gonna measure the capacitor using an LCR meter. And we have 10 microfarads. We got it. 10 microfarads, no problem. I use a lot of those caps on Asus laptops, MSI laptops. And getting the port is no problem. And I just happen to have right there. I believe they are the same size. Exactly the same size. If the customer is watching this video, he's going to be as excited as I am. And for this one, we're not going to invoice the customer for money, but we're going to ask him to send us an arcade game. Maybe a pinball machine. Have you looked at prices on pinball machines? Crazy. $8,000. $10,000, $12,000, if we knew from back then that those pinball machines will be so expensive in 2024, I would have bought like a thousand of them, better than real estate. Okay, so let me put this on the side because we're going to apply hot air. I did not apply any flux, I did not apply any solder. Because in this case, I do not see the need to. I mean, even the color of the capacitor is the same. We are done. We are 100% done. Let's measure for a short again. Now, upon initial inspection, Big Boss always does the initial inspection. He said that we are getting 0.3 volts here instead of 24 volts because of the short circuit. So let's go ahead and plug that charging adapter. But before we do, we're going to measure for a short circuit one more time. What if the ghost that we have in the shop magically shorted those caps again? He always borrows our tools, so he's here. We're going to measure this, 0 0.57. All of them are going to measure 0 0.57. And if we measure to ground, we have ground here. And we have 0 0.6. That's amazing. We did it. We're going to plug the charging cable. 
and we're going to measure meter in voltage mode. We're going to measure right here. And amazing, we have 24.3 volts. Wow. And I see a light on back of the board. Look at this LED. <laughs> we are done. Wow. If the customer is watching, he's going to be as excited as I am probably. We got the board fixed for him. And like I said, we're not going to invoice the customer for money, but we're going to invoice him for an arcade machine of any type. Make your choice. Or if it's not too much to ask, a pinball machine. Right? We're going to end the video right here. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think. Leave it down in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll do something else in the next video.